Jesus is alive. Amen. Amen. He is. Um, that's why we're here, because of him, because he is risen. Amen. Um, I planned a whole bunch of stuff to say, and I don't know if I'll say it or not, but I'm here because of God's grace, and I'm here because God led me here, and I'm here because of obedience. My own obedience, my husband's obedience, Gary's obedience. You know, I used to be really shy, and I didn't like talking in front of people. And now, through the Lord's doing, he has changed me, and I stand in front of people all day. I teach children, I teach third graders, and have to be basically on the stage all day. And here I am with the power of God talking to people, and I'm calm, confident, and not the old me who would have been panicking inside right now. So praise God for that. Jesus. I certainly am not worthy to be here by any means, because I know who I was before I met the Lord. But I believe what is written, I'm a child of God, and through the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed. Amen. And it's my job to go out and tell people about that. I know you've heard stories over and over about the churches we visited and the trials that we've gone through to get to Bethel, but a lot of my testimony starts from me here at Bethel, and it's a story of obedience. After we came here the first time, three days later, my husband got a word from the Lord that Bethel was going to be our home church. And so on the way back to the church on the Wednesday to talk to Pastor Gary and ask him if he would be our pastor. Dan said to me, you're about to be blessed. Just watch what the Lord is going to do. And that has been the biggest understatement of my life. Because the Lord has blessed us and blessed me beyond belief. And it's just a testimony of what turning your life to the Lord does. <clears throat> Gary and Dan have opened their lives to me as if I was their own daughter. And I know that's the Lord's doing because I'm just not that lovable. <laughs> <laughs> After years of serving the Lord and chasing, he knows. He knows. <laughs> After years of chasing the things of the Lord, I was invited to participate in the Cardinals class. And Dan had been participating for about six months and coming home every week with a fire of excitement and concepts that were kind of making me scratch my head and blowing my mind and I wanted to keep up with him in conversation which if you know my husband is sometimes hard to do because he runs about a million miles a minute and so I wrestled with this feeling that attending the class was just going to be for me to fill me up so I could have this selfish desire fulfilled of learning more about God and just knowing him so that you know I was fulfilled and so I really wrestled with that. And scheduling didn't permit me to come because of my job, and that kept changing the date every week. So I kind of just put it on the back burner and prayed about it, and I said, Lord, thy will be done. I learned just enough from Dan's overflow to teach the ladies a few things in our James study. But I realized in order to teach, I needed to be better equipped. And so I joined the credentials class officially in December of 2017. When you say yes to the Lord's plan, he sure opens the doors of possibilities, and he sure has done so through Bethel and through the Billings. While I have been blessed beyond belief since stepping into the doors here, I quickly adop adopted Gary and Danette's attitude of, I've come to be a blessing. And what's really awesome is the way God works. His ways are not our ways. He gets me on board to serve, and while I think I'm serving him and blessing others, he pours out so much that I'm receiving a double blessing in the process. Amen. Amen. Right. And here's just a few ways I've been blessed with the opportunity to be a blessing. I've been in a ministry with the homeless, taught ladies Bible study, mentor and coordinate with kids, prayer, leading worship, card making, fruit dehydrating, harvest festival, planning special services, hospital visits, counseling, technology, media, 
working on the building, cleaning the church, memorial services, and weddings. But just to be clear, none of this is about me. In all of this, it's my prayer that any and everything I do brings people closer to the foot of the cross. And these are just the works. I do these as an outpouring of what Jesus has already done for me. I do these things because he saved me. He saved me from myself. He saved me from my sin. He saved me from disobedience. And what my disobedience looked like was not really recognizable in the world. Because by the world's standard, I had good morals. And I had a good attitude. And I wanted to do nice things for people. And I wanted to help people. But what people didn't know was that I was doing it for me. And everything Gary talked about this morning, that was me. I was putting myself as God because it made me feel good. And I didn't realize how wrong that was and how wrong it is until the Lord woke me up. And when he woke me up, I realized it's all about him. Amen. That's right. And that's why I'm very passionate about making sure Jesus' name gets heard. It's not about God. It's about Jesus. We have to say the name of who our God is. Because you can make yourself God and say, God told me to do this. Oh my God, is Jesus. Because he saved me. He died on the cross. And I hope I've done right for my Lord. And I hope when he returns he'll find me working. And I wouldn't be able to do any of this if he didn't equip me. He is the life. He is my life. And I boast in the Lord that he has accomplished so much and it has given value and importance to my life. Earning these credentials is an honor and a blessing that I'm receiving from the Lord. The class is extremely valuable to me. I, I appreciate that I have a pastor who's not just willing but desires to share his wisdom that God has given him and to make disciples. I feel privileged just to be included in the learning as I hunger and thirst for the things of God. Desire more of Jesus every day. So thank you, Gary. Thank you, Nina. And thank you, members of Bethel, who have kept this church open so that I could be a benefit beneficiary of what God is doing. Amen. Amen. Amen.